Hi guys, it's Chris the Noobman here from Heavy MTG UK. Now, I've got a booster box to open for us today. Now the thing is, right, this is the thing. This is the thing. Let me start again. Hi, it's Chris here from Heavy MTG UK. Now today I've got a booster box worth of Aether Revolt because it came out today. However, there is a bit of a caveat to this. Went to the comic book shop. Um, and they said to me, oh, sorry, we haven't got any uh, boxes in yet. Um, our order's delayed, but we do have loose boosters that we can give you. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, as long as I get a 36 boosters, um, I don't really care. And they also give me uh, the standard showdown um, two packs of that as well, and a promo card. So here's the box in question. Let me just slide that across. It's a bit of a wreck. They put it in a box for me, so obviously they've had a booster box and they bust it loose. Uh, but I've still got 36 boosters. Um, and I've got a shiny scrap trawler there, which is buy a box. So, yeah, nice different alternative art as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, and um, two bonus packs, which I'll open at the end to, you know, yeah. So, let's get to opening then, yeah. Go a second. So, I should have actually a random selection here. Hopefully I won't pull all gaff, but, ah, uh, you know, you never know. So, yeah. Right. So I'm quite excited about this. I'm actually quite um, interested in filling up my card, card supply as well. So let's just get on with it and get to cracking. So, alright, I'll just get to the... The uncommons, that's the ones we're all interested in, isn't it? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now, that's a good start. This allow definitely into that one. What I'll do is I'll put the prices up in the top left of the screen in dollars and British pound because we're from the UK and I'm sick of looking at dollars and trying to figure out the exchange rate and we end up paying so much more anyway. Anyway, disallow. That's a good start. All right, second packet. It's quite hard to do this, actually. I've seen other channels do this, and I think, oh, this is pretty flipping. It'd be easy to do, but I'm hovering behind the camera. Uh, so, quite a good few selections, commons there. Prey upon that keeps showing up. Up, oh, gilded aetherborn. He's the boy. I like. I like him. And he's the yep. Death touch. Love it. Hidden uh, stockpile. And a little okay. Solemn recruit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Not worth much though. Hold on a sec, pop that back in there. Solemn recruits. Cool. So obviously a bit of a buff there. However, I got my first disallow. Considering I'm gonna be playing um blue black control for this season of magic until I figure out control because I'm a bit of a noob. Uh you know, it's right, so the next pack. Oh uh, here we go. This is why I'll be playing against some sick of this combo play to test it. Uh, so quick smith spy. Meh. Whatever. So I say like uh you know, I'm doing good so far anyway, so I can't really complain. That disallow is definitely a good pull for the moment, that's for sure. Okay, next packet. It's quite hard to keep Piling through these packets actually. I think we better get to the juicy stuff. Metallic Rebuilds, nice. Uh, trophy Mage, nothing of interest there. Elephant, I know uh, Dan the Foil Man would be interested in that. Ooh, and a Foil Swamp, nice. Good stuff. So, yeah. Green Belt Rampager. It's quite hard to open these quickly, actually. Right. <laughs> That's a good instant. Very good instant, actually. Very good. On a thopter. Rishkar's expertise. Lovely. Rishkar's expertise. Whoop. 
So yeah, we're a pretty new channel, and we figured that there's no British people really doing YouTube videos. So we'd uh, see if we can fill a niche small market with talent, you know. So obviously we're looking for the um, the fatal pushes. No, nope. Tesla's touch. Oh, it's always good. Papa Giffer, that's good. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, pretty sexy card that, all in all. Alright, hope a giver. Alright, oop, that's it. Starting off camera, Chandra's Revolution. Uh, yeah, that's going to be, that seems to be a popular card at the moment. Winding Constructor, Midnight Entourage. Midnight Entourage, okay. It's the Aether Bond Rouge. Well, it's pretty good. Whoops, whoops. Thing is, people go on about the actual value of these sets, but what people don't realise is what the value is to the actual player who are making their decks. It's like, oh yeah, the expected value is pretty low, but then, you know, shock. Uh, they're using lots of them. Prey upon 7 Eleven. Gifted Aetherborn again, nice. Top to the rest, Battle at the Bridge. Nice. Uh, no masterpieces. Well, you know, so Battle at the Bridge. Good card, good card. Okay. Let's pack it. So, yeah, these cards, people say, oh, they're not worth much money, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, the price of standards going down. And that's always good. Even though standard is absolutely frustrating to play sometimes. I got my ass handed to me in my first ever PPTQ, that's for sure. Uh, walking Ballista, that's gone up in price, I think. That's it. It's a pretty good card there. But now I'm just chucking <laughs> boosters everywhere. Alright. Uh, on a top tap. Loves it. Found your hornet hungry frames. Ah, metallic mimic. Nice. So, um, I paid ninety-five pounds for this, and obviously that I don't know how much that is in dollars. Maybe one point two one to the pounds. One hundred and five dollars, hundred and ten dollars. So that's what obviously aiming to get more value than that from it. Right. Aerial modification. Nope. Seven Eleven. Barrels expertise. Nothing there. Boal's expertise, not bad card. You see that me playing that maybe. Okay. Right, shock again. Can't get enough shocks. No fatal pushes yet though. Yep. Peace Walker Colossus. Buff. Peace Walker Colossus. Yep, this is very painful to do this this way. Shock. Oh, I'm on my way to a place set. That's always good. Hidden Herbalist. That's a good card. Oh, exquisite Archangel. Now, I'll be putting that in my EDH deck, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's Grizzik Archangel. Blah, blah. Happy with that. No, it's not worth much, but... Commander player. See, that's the thing. Sometimes it's good to put Jank Rares into your trade binder, because you never know when uh, that Commander player will be like, Oh, I need that card to make a combo go off. Alright, Tezzeret's Touch. Trophy Mage. Consulate Crackdown and the foil Renegades Getaway. That'd be good actually. It's like um, it's the artifacts version of Fumigate. So if someone's got lots of artifacts down on the field, well, you know, and it doesn't get dashed in by Fragmentize. Lovely. Consulate Crackdown. Okay. Renegade Map. I can see that in use. 
You know, no one else seems to think so. Treasure Keeper. Merchant Dock Hands. That's a rare in the front, so this is looking good. Planes. Ah, Aether Chaser Foil. Uh, okay. Better than the punch in the old uh, nip. Let's see. Hope it gives again. Uh, hope it gives Hope it gives her. Right, I wish I was uh, rich so I could buy all these singles in sets of four for the whole set. There we go, play set of shock at least. That's always good. Gifted Eighth of Born. Lovely. Dark Imitations. I've got the Planeswalker for the Commander deck. I don't know if I'd use it though. Uh, mm. Aether, Aether Inspection. The Foil and Dark imita Intimidations for the uh, for the rare. One might have spied of industry before this these packets have finished cracking. So, next pack. Seven eleven. It, oh, my first mythic. Lightning runner. Oh, and there's a foil behind there. It looks really shiny. Lightning runner. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> One second. <laughs> uh, let's give Dan a call. Let's give the um Let's give the Dan Meister the call. Extra planner lands. When extra planner lands enter the battlefield, you may exile target lands you control. Whenever it lands with the same name, exile card is tapped for mana. It control adds one mana to his and her mana pool. <laughs> oh, mate. One second. That is wicked. And a lightning runner. So let's give Dan a call. See Welcome to the EE voicemail. Ah, well, he ain't answering, but. You'd be happy that I basically I bought a fat pack earlier on today, and uh, I had a um, plan our bridge. So I've had two masterpieces in one day. I am very happy today. That's going in one of my commander decks. That's for sure. Nice. So I've got the money back on my deck probably. I'll have to check out the price that later. So this box has paid for itself. That's for sure. In uh, expected value. So the next packet. Uh, that was nice. I'm really happy now. Yanni and Diane Partisan. Good card, apparently. Cool. Nice. So, I'll be playing that as well for my creature base blocking. Lovely. Oh, masterpiece. Oh, my God. That'd be amazing. That's amazing. So, random booster pack. There you go. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. No, uh, uh, bit. Oh, it's a bit buff, but Aether White, Aether White, uh, Aether Tide Whale. Sorry, I'm a bit in shock for the old, uh, the old masterpiece. Seems to be a lot of um, masterpieces in this these things. So you know, that's that's good for people. Bringing the prices of Commander and all the other formats down as well, so that's always good. So, Aether Tide Whale. Ooh. Right. That's nice. Okay. Anything interesting here? Oh, I thought that was uh Nope. Tezra's Touch, Ravenous Intruder, Carl Zeb's Expertise. Nice. Well, like, I know some people think, oh, that's not really a good card. However, I think it'd be pretty good. Yeah. And you get a two mana cost afterwards. So if you need to follow up with the removal spell, you can do that. Oh, man, I can't believe I got that masterpiece two in a day. Never before. I say I'm lucky if I pulled, I pulled one or two masterpieces from the Kaladesh set. Ah, uh, Lysecrafter's... 
Life Crafters Beastery. That's pretty good for just the scry engine, I guess. That'd be really good in Commander. I keep banging on the Commander. Really good in Standard, really, even if you just get one down on the field. Life Crafters, Crafters Beastery. Free scry. And you can pay green to draw a card after the creature spell. So that's good. Next, next pack, so I just got carried away there. Gifted Aether Born, Hidden Stockpile, Illusion Stratagem, Scrap Trawler, Fail, and a Gremlin Token. Is there more com uncommon? Two, three, no, it's just me being. Yeah, I thought there was more uncommons in that one. So we're two thirds of the box almost. I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 packs to go. You should see the state of the pile over here just boshed up. I'll have to go through them and sort them out. Scrap trawler. Okay, Aether Tracer, Metallic Rebuke, go place that on them. Happy days. The field train, love the field train. Siege modification, godly machinations. Ah, Aether Tide Whale, another buff. Oh well, I've already got my masterpiece. <laughs> I'm happy. Right, all these other cards are just a bonus ball, eh? Oh man, it's such a mess in my room at the moment. Such a mess in my room at the moment because of this. I'm gonna get mad. Hope a gifter for the I'm on my way to a place out of them. Nice, nice. Oh, good stuff to be honest with you. So, yeah, people are moaning about the expected value of these things, but at the end of the day, we all need to uh, play standard. We all need to get these cards. So, if they're low price, that's good because there's a lot of young kids who can't really afford this, you know? Uh, ooh. No, no. Oh, okay, Green Wheel Liberator. Green Wheel Liberator. Oh, oh <laughs> reverse engineer. I was getting excited then. I saw the gloss and I just thought, no. It's a bit of a random, the random boosters. It could be two masterpieces, you know? Ah, oh, right. I've got Unbiddle Growth, Hidden Defender, Feldar Guardian, Aether Spear Harvester, not bad. Aether Spear Harvester. No complaints there with that one. I'm sure I can trade it away. People love the vehicles. I suppose they were good in the last uh, Kaladesh block, you know, so. Poor Smuggler's Copter. We all know, we, we all know it's there. Uh, Strange bands for standard. I don't know what to think about it really. Uh, mechanized dark hand. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, so I got merchant's dark hands, and then I saw the uh, the little foily bit, but there's like oh masterpiece note. Consulate dreadnought, seven eleven in foil. <laughs> merchant's dark hand. Well, that was a bit exciting, wasn't it? Right, so back to the next packet. Got a couple of packets left after this. Right, gifted this. This is a, this is a stack packed. Another one of them. Ooh, Johnny and Yielding, and. <laughs> Well, this revolutionary. So that's my first planeswalker there. It's nice. Not going to say no to that. The journey and yielding. Sorry if I've got Gammy talking. By the way, I'm a bit oh, after that. A bit excited. I've got cards everywhere over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Got a lot of flipping value out of this box. Bloody amazing. Cool. Right. No fatal pushes though, that's never good. Consular Crackdown. 
Um, at least I got two of them for my sideboard and a Tezza emblem. Emblem. So yeah, man, that's cool. Consulate Crackdown. Pretty exciting. Whew. Got a bit of a sweat on, a bit nervous after doing that. As you can tell, guys, I'm from Wales, but I'm living in Bristol. Foil Dan's from Bristol. Okay, Metallic Rebuke. Ah, uh, flavoursome. Crackdown Construct, Infinite Combo Wombo. Great, I'm looking forward to them. Also, I'm playing Control. Gaunty Machinations. Solemn Recruits. Now, Pete, I say this Revolt thing's a good mechanic, but I'm not sure how I'm going to play it. I'm not really, there's too much going on. Solemn Recruit. Right. Down to the last few packets now. Five left to go. Right. Oh no, it's up there. Three of them. Hidden Herbless. Nice. Nice. Aether Spear. I'll take it. Aether Spear Harvester. Another one. Good. Good. Well, I say I'm uh, starting to feel the love. However, you know, who knows what going to happen to the prices of this. In the pros break it, in the pro tour, you never know. All I know is, definitely got a play set of shock now. Um, that, there's going to be a lot of infinite combos in this next, this, this lot. It's just mental. So, controls better be king. Trophy mage, Ah, metallic mimic, yes. Lovely, need that card for definite. Um, I definitely like this card because of the tribal thing. I've got um, a allies deck that I kind of want to make work. So, uh, yeah, this will be good. So, Metallic Mimic, happy with that. Hopefully, I can trade into some more of them and some disallows. Okay, next packet, three to go. Plus some standard showdown thingies as well. And a showdown. Hidden herb list. Hey, improvise. Inspiring sanctuary. Oh, sorry. Inspiring statutory. Statutory. How you guys tell me how that actually goes? That's going to be worth a few bob as well. In the future, great for commander if you've got like little art and flags floating about, not doing anything. But they all do something. So, ooh, two packs left. Two packs left. Right. I know most people guess straight to the good stuff, but yes, play sets of Ornithopter. But I kind of just want to. Ooh, another mimic! Ooh! Ah, oh, right, okay. A Night Market Aeronaut. So, another metallic mimic. I'm on my halfway to a play set. And a little foily, foily Night Market Aeronaut there. Lovely. Not one fatal push though, that kind of sucks, but well, you know, can't have it all. Taste uncommon. Last packet, guys, last packet. Right, negate, wait. Pacification of A, nice, perilous placement. Shield the Aether Thief, Yanni and Diane Partisan. Cool. So that's all of them. Yanni's and Diane Partisan. So let's have a little look at the cards I've got there. I think I've got quite a decent haul, especially with the old uh, Planeswalker and what have you. I say, <laughs> and a masterpiece. I am loving it. I say I'm not rich like all these uh, YouTubers who can open up a hundred thousand million boxes of uh, product each week, but hey, you know we all got to start somewhere, haven't we? Eh? <laughs> so, I So doing all right there, actually. You know, just um, mimic money cards, money cards. Not sure. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. So, to be honest with you, I've done alright, not going to lie, could be a lot worse. 
lightning runner mythic extra planner lens uh, that's brilliant brilliant so a couple of you know walking ballista as well uh, yeah I'm, I'm happy with this haul basically say like uh, disallow only need three more of them to have a play set so yeah I've done really well today um, and as a little bonus I think I'm going to open up those standard uh, buyer box gigs and see where we get out of them um, I, the shopkeeper said obviously they haven't got Aether Revolt cards in and I was like, well, okay, fair enough. But they still might have something nice. You never know. Oh. So, um, yeah, nice little haul there, to be honest with you. I say, guys, obviously, if you like the video, just give us a like, a thumbs up, all of you. Um, we're going to be doing content pretty regularly. Uh, not just booster box openings. We'll be doing little skits, having a laugh. We're not exactly going to be a serious... Um... Ooh. <laughs> Here's Dan, actually. Dan, hey, what's happening? Where are you? Um, I'm recording our video. I've just got to the end of opening the packs now. Oh, okay, no problem. That's all. I thought I'd just seen you walking. That's all. No, 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 mate. <laughs> so, do you want to do you want to do you want to know what I just got? What? Extra planar lens, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Two masterpieces in one day. I haven't even opened up the um, standard. Uh, the, you know the buyer box. I'm not. Oh uh, yeah. But you're in the video now, so I just thought I'd uh, get you in. Got a massive pile of cards, mate. I, I got the flipping, the magic sweats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what was your reaction, mate? Oh, I was like, yeah, man. It was brilliant. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Two masterpieces in one day. Oh, mate. Nice one, mate. All right, well, see, I better finish this video anyway, and I'll come around, mate. Yeah, sound fine. Just give me a text update, mate, all right? Yeah, tell our buddy. Nice one, bye. Right, mate. So that's Dan, that's my partner in crime there. So, buy a box, booster pack. Let's see what we get there. All right. I say, damn. So these are a bit hit and miss. I say sometimes they've got like really high quality good cards in. And the next time they haven't really got anything, uh, it's like um, three card poker, is it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh no! It's a Harley Re foil. Nice. Sanctum of Ugin. Love it. Ah, uh, Metalwork Colossus. Well, that was a good pack. So, it's pack one of the standard showdown. Oh, lovely. Second one now. Okay. Foil Sahili Rai. Nice. Alright. Nibbles of Frost, Cinder Healing, and a prized amalgam. So, yeah, I've got a good haul today. Um, oh, obviously, sometimes the standard uh, buyer box card packs, sometimes they don't make up for the cost of your. Um, they don't they don't make up for the cost of your box but at least you're supporting your local store guys um always support your local store if possible i know it's cheaper online obviously just every now and then buy a box they'd really appreciate it, it may seem expensive but don't forget that we wouldn't be to get our uh, game days if they weren't um obviously having brick and mortar stores um and you wouldn't bump into things like that you know so guys have a great day and I'll see you for the next episode of Opening Box LOL. <laughs> or whatever I'm going to call it. See you later. Bye.